first of all uh, welcome in my channel and uh, today i'm going to tell you about my membership plan first of all uh, i will provide you dotnet core video tutorial dapper tutorial rest rest api tutorial angular uh, angular video tutorial and uh, not only video tutorial i will uh, provide you complete source code okay and it's not only a simple video tutorial it's a project based video tutorial so each technology have minimum two projects so guys this is a project based courses in all technologies just 800 rupees and you focus that it's not only a technology it's a roadmap okay so that is the complete roadmap of dotnet core and that video tutorial is providing you a past deal for you okay so first of all i will provide you dotnet core and uh, video tutorial it's not only based uh, it's not only simple video tutorial again i repeat you a uh, project based video tutorial so i will cover it uh, all design patterns and uh, solid patterns and uh, architectural designs okay so uh, i will give you uh, clean architecture based projects okay so uh, that is dotnet core and uh, that dotnet core used entity framework core and sql server in further video i will use adio.net and the dapper and uh, just after that i will use blazor for as a front end and angular as a front end and the react as a front end uh, so use rest api so it's a based on project uh, okay and it's a road map so that we can cover all the topics of the full stack development so this is only 800 rupees i will uh, you will uh, you just pay me 800 rupees and get all video tutorials okay so uh, day by day and uh, if you are belong from other country just pay a dollar 15 and it's only a one time fees that is again i repeat you one time fees just only pay 800 rupees and get the source code and complete video tutorials okay so how to get the deal just fill this form that is your name your email id your contact number contact number is not necessary transaction reference id order id or paypal id if you are belong from india just pay using upi id and uh, just add your transaction reference id uh, and after that uh, if you are belong from other country just use this my uh, paypal id and this is you can use this qr code also okay and submit the form after submit your form you will get a notification uh, via email and uh, start your journey for the membership okay so uh, just find the link of this form in your video description box so must to check your video description box okay uh, hurry up guys because it's a limited time deal hey everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and today i'm going to teach you how to uh, create a web blog websites in uh, angular and uh, restful api so here we have a cms and that is the primary part uh, i'm going to show you uh, here we have two uh, uh, models like category and the host. So here we have a category. Now these are the category that is not listed here, and it's uh, these categories actually uh, pulled from these categories actually from the REST API. So here we have a APIs, and I want to check it out, execute it, and you can see that here we have one uh, category only. So I want to check it now. That is the category list. So here we have a, a, a it ID a fashion, and I want to delete this category fashion, and I want to create a new category in Angular. So and the Angular code is looking like this, and I want to explain it one by one. So wait for some time. Okay. So uh, that is the Angular code, and I will explain you about each and every steps. So the first thing is to create a new category. Okay. So just click to the create new category and the default is the hello. I want to replace it with the category name like uh, um, the default category is the health category. You know, uh, here we have a fashion category and I want to add a health category here like health category and I want to save this health category and the ID number is incremented by one and you can also check in your APIs. So here we have two categories in the database that is the fashion and the health. Okay. Now, uh, just after that, the CRUD operation is belong to the added part that is health category. So health is replaced to the another category that is electronics. 
so that is the electronics category so the health category is replaced by the electronics category and you can see in the api version also so that is the that one okay now uh, i want to delete the category so i want to delete your uh, electronics category so also you can see in execute it that's cool now the second task is uh, to add uh, the blog post so here we have a post category uh, blog post and i want to add title post short description and is visible that is post and that is the bootstrap table i want to add a new blog post here so that is the title of the blog post short description description image url and post url author and published date okay so that is the published date and is visible and save changes so that is the blog post and the default blog post where we have three blog posts asp.net core asp.net core and asp.net core so that is the first part of this project that is blog create a blog in angular with rest full api so the first start with your uh, angular okay first start with the api project so here we have a api and just i want to stop it first okay so the first part is the angular uh, restful api and here we have a uh, web api project in asp.net core okay so here we have a controller like controller and data that where we have a application db context file and dtos uh, it's a data transfer object that is category details and the post details migration because i'm using model first approach here and the next one is the models where we have a category and the post and the one uh, one on only that is the repository pattern here i'm using okay so the first part is to uh, add a uh, connection string in app settings organization file so app dot setting file have a connection string and connection string contains some parameters with the sql server so i am using sql server here the next part is to register uh, uh, add this connection string in, in your uh, or you can say register connection string in program.cs file that is application db context and this one okay now the next part is the model part that is mvc part so here we have a post category and the category and relationship between the category and the post that is many to many so here we have a id name and a category have multiple post similarly we have a post so a post have multiple categories so these are the model part now after that i want to add these models in your application db context file so i want to uh, so, so i was create a application db context here and application db context is actually have two db set that is uh, categories and the post okay now register or you can say add a dependency of your application db context in your program.cs file so just open your program.cs file and check your dependency here that is the dependency application db context okay so that is the dependency at db uh, add application db context here okay that's cool now just after that you can uh, apply migration so the first migration applied with the initial migration with the categories only okay the second migration apply during the post so add post and the third is the relationship between the uh, category in the post so here we have a category post in between table because uh, many to many uh, bet uh, relation between the category and the post so that is the middle table okay now the next part is to design a repository for your blog post and the categories so here we have a repositories so i want to open i category repo under the i category repo where we have a get all add category get by id and delete category and update category similarly the implementation part of the category repo is there so here we have application db context context and add category delete category get all get by id and update category okay so you know very well about the model first approach similarly with the post repo okay 
Now here we have a controller. So the first part is the category controller. During the category, get all categories like that and convert it into the category into the category DTO so that uh, we can show the category ID and the category name on the list. Okay, so post categories and get category by ID and delete category and the put category. So that is the, uh, you know, APIs of your blog project. Okay, so uh, just after your APIs, uh, I want to uh, show uh, my, uh, you know, the Angular project. So here we have a Visual Studio Code and I want to open my, that is the demo app. So I want to open uh, the categories uh, directory. So here we have a categories directory and that is the home directory and that is the menu directory also. And here we have a post directory and product directory. So product is not related to your blog post, blog project. And that is the app routing.model.ts file. And I'm using actually current version, uh, actually latest uh, version of Angular. So you can just check it on your angular.json. So here we have a, a demo app and that is the settings of your Angular. You can see that is the default uh, angular.json file. And under the package.json, you can see the actual version of your Angular. So here we have a Angular latest stable versions like 17.3.0. Okay, so that is, that is, uh, you know, um, I'm using the latest, uh, almost latest version of Angular. The first, uh, you need to add uh, the directories, actually categories, home, menu, and post, and products. So for the first thing is to add the bootstrap. So the first thing to add a bootstrap, so add a bootstrap in index.cshtml file, and here we have two bootstrap links, and I'm using 5. Point, uh, something like that, 5.3.3, okay. Now after that, I want, uh, uh, I used, I have to use uh, classes, okay. So the first part is the menu component I want to add. So the menu is, here we have a menu component, and I want to show you my menu component, that is my menu component. And I want to use this menu component in, you know, uh, you know, menu component is what? Menu component is actually use the router link. Okay, router link is actually a decorator. So I want to use decorator in my file. That is, the file is a uh, router link. So I want to update my router table also with the path and the component. So that is my router module file. So here we have a routers, routes, like default routes with the home index component, categories, we have a categories list component, categories dot add, we have a add category component, category edit, and that is the dynamic, you know, edit the category post, we have this like that. So now just after that, we can add a service in each uh, directories. So just open it, uh, the categories. So here we have a categories. In uh, in the categories, we have three uh, components, add category, category list, and the added category. Similarly, uh, the e each uh, component, we have model and the service part. So category.model.ts we have. So export interface category DTO and export category, create category DTO. Similarly, like that, we have a service for the category. So that these are the services like get all, uh, create, get by ID, delete by ID, update categories like that. These are the categories. Uh, that That is the service. And I want to inject this service in your uh, components. So first of all, I want to open my category list component. Okay, and inject this category service in it. So first to close all. And I want to open my category list component.html file. And you know that here I'm using uh, bootstrap and that is the bootstrap. And also uh, I'm using ng container. Also we use uh, directives that is ng if structural directive and that is the observable. And here I'm using a synchronous pipe with the category list. So I want to show you it in the, you know, uh, table and with the delete method and the router link. So each router link is actually open in router outlet. 
so first of all i want to open my app component so app component.html file is actually contain the menu component as well as the router outlet so there is a no need okay so that is the my category list component similarly we also create category list component add category and edit category and also we just create uh, you know uh, that is the category list and also just create edit category and you know uh, um, delete category is delete category is an event we can call it by the html and handle it in your ts file so i like load categories and delete categories so here we have a delete categories like delete category subscription this uh, category service dot delete by id and subscription just like that okay so everything is simple because uh, these are that that is the you know uh, basic um, uh, concept of the CRUD operations uh, between the category and the post so um, you know everything is simple and you can do it everything and if you want to uh, follow this my subscription uh, my membership you can learn everything about angular and react and you know uh, each and every steps of ASP.NET Core RESTful API so guys hurry up guys uh, it's a limited time deal uh, to join my membership pay 800 rupees and dollar 15 for get more updates on your uh, on your course so soon and check the video description box where we have a membership link and google form fill the google form and get the membership